a little bit of throwback right there going back into the 80s. And I know a lot of you who came from the 80s era would say some of the fashion should stay in the 80s. But we do actually love some of the comebacks of the chunky necklace and of course those mini skirts. Leg warmers, but you know, shoulder pads I'm not too sure about. I used to cut out my shoulder pads. Well, um, when it comes to trying to get that perfect outfit, sometimes it's really stressful, especially if you have an event to go for or if you're trying to, you're going to get married this year and you think, what's the perfect um, outfit to wear? Stress, you get all stressed up. So a lot of people, when they're stressed up, they go like, oh, maybe I'll go for a nice cup of coffee. Maybe I'll go and work out. Maybe I'll go chat with my friends or go for a nice massage. Well, April found something very different to release her stress. I think she's quite stressed in this one. So um, it's not a massage. Nope, you don't got, it's not a massage. So April, let's hand it over to you and see how she actually relieved her stress. New day brings a new beginning. No matter what you're suffering from, may it be career, studies or relationship problems, there are many ways to cope and go through them. When people get frustrated, they go for massages, listening to soothing songs or maybe go for a walk. Others may resolve to a more aggressive approaches such as breaking things, cursing or wailing on a punching bag. And today, I find out there's another way to release stress. And today, I find out there's another way to release stress. Okay, Smash House is the place that for you to release your stress by smashing things, plates, club and bottles. So in here, you can do this thing okay, in a legal way and a safe way. Actually, Smash House is open to all ages of people. From my study days, actually, we found out something very special is that majority of my customer actually is female. Most of them actually is uh, more than 20, 20 above until 35 and most of them are office workers. Yep, depression affects people differently, particularly when it comes to different genders. Not only are women more prone to depression than men, but the causes of depression on females are often different. We all have those days. You know, the days where you want to take the nearest object and hold it to the wall or on the floor just to break it. Sadly, it's not acceptable in our society to send plastics and glass shards flying around the room. And most of us do not have a stockpile of things to smash to bits nor the time or patient to deal with the cleaning afterwards. Yeah, before we enter into the smashing zone, okay, we will ask our customer to wear the protecting suits and glove, helmet and the shoes to protect themselves because the glasses, the colours is everywhere. Before participating in the game, customers are requested to sign a consent form where they have to obey the safety precaution guided by the staff. Customers will be monitored via CCTV during the game session and will be recorded for customer safety. Modern signs often look for ways to minimize frustrations before it turns into full-blown range, and this is one of the latest methods. Okay, before this, actually, I'm a lead marketing teacher, so actually, I bleed on my marketing student want to start a special project, and Smash Out is the number one project come to my in our mind. Currently, we have three rooms. Okay, one is uh, for bottles, and another one is smashing cups and plates, and the third one is a smashing a PC. Although it won't help with the instantaneous outbreaks of anger, it might benefit people who have been suppressing their long-term frustration. Well, everyone has to experience stress almost every single day. Rather than trying to keep the stress to ourselves, try some other methods of stress management like getting plenty of rest and eat well. By then, you'll be able to take care of your stress properly and have a well-balanced life. Now that I know how to do it, I'm going to do it myself, but before that, safety first. 